Hi, welcome back to Webisode 2 of Astro Adventure Weekly. This week we're going to take a look at a cool little program called RTGUI and we'll continue our look at webcam imaging with a short intro to Registax version 4. Let's go! Last week we looked at Stellarium, a really nice photorealistic planetarium program. And I originally thought that I would show you sky charts this week, and probably ASCOM next week, but I've decided to take a, a slight side trip. There's a really cool little program or application called RTGUI plus S that you might want to take a look at. RTGUI is a very small and fast astronomy program for Windows. Its main purpose is to help you select objects that are visible right now or at some specific time. It does a lot of other stuff too. You can select objects by their common names or by catalog IDs or object type by constellation, magnitude, or elevation for things to observe now or you can print a, uh, a list of matching objects to observe later. You can also have the program suggest objects for you. You click one button and you get a, uh, an instant sky chart of the selected object. Click another button and your go-to telescope goes straight to that object. And did I mention it's free? Um, you can find the link to RTGUI homepage in the show notes at astroadventure.com. So, it's kind of a funky name. What does it stand for? Well. RT stands for real time. It uh, reads the Windows clock and continuously updates object positions as time advances. Of course, you can set it to a future time as well. It also gets your local time zone information from Windows. The uh, GUI means that it has a graphic user interface. And dash S or plus S means that scripting capability has been added. How do you find out which objects can be seen in the telescope right now? The easiest way is to just press the Best of Sky button and have RTGUI suggest uh, the most interesting objects for viewing based on your location, telescope size, and sky conditions at the time you specify. First, the well-placed popular eye candy objects are suggested Saturn, Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, Albero. Then you'll get into a longer list of selected Messier, NGC, and IC objects, and lastly, double stars. You can move forward and backward along the chain as much as you want, and you can save it into a file and view or print it as a list. You can also search by constellation and or by object type. If you see Orion standing high in the sky, just do a simple search on the name Orion, RTGUI will give you every deep sky object in that constellation that's potentially visible in your telescope. You can press next match when you want to go on. You can also back up to the previous match and save or print any of your matches. The new search wizard makes it easy to refine your searches. Maybe you want to find galaxies in a particular constellation or all of the well-placed galaxies for any constellation. The search wizard can locate the kind of objects that you tell it if that you want to see. It'll select only the ones that should be able that you should be able to see right now based upon your telescope size and whether you're in a rural, suburban or urban site. You want to search by common name, you just press simple search and type in the name of an object. Now, each object in the RTGUI catalog can have up to five names. So M1, Crab Nebula, and NGC 1952 are all the same. Double stars can be found by the label DBL and be followed by information about their separation and magnitude. Over 2,500 double stars are listed in the default catalog, searchable by name or by constellation. I think you'd be surprised how many different kinds of names uh, and objects can be found. 
For observers using typical amateur telescopes, probably 99% of the extrasolar objects that you will ever plan on observing can be found in the default catalog, and usually under several different names. So, what about star charts? If you've installed the program Sky Charts, you can click on the Sky Chart button and get an instant sky chart centered on the selected object. Sky Charts is an extremely sophisticated, full-featured astronomical charting program, and as I said, we'll be looking at that next week. So, how do you change the catalog, the time, the location? Generally, to change something in RTGUI, you click on a button and a dialog bo box pops up and you follow the directions. You'll also see tooltips whenever you place the mouse over any field. You can click on the latitude and longitude buttons to change them. If you have a handheld GPS, the program will read your location from that and you just click load. Or if your telescope has GPS, it can also read that and again, you just click load. Now you'll probably want to save several different location files under different names and load them as needed for when you're observing at different sites. The first time you run RTGUI, it will nag you to tell it what kind of telescope, if any, you have and what COM port it's connected to. You should also enter the size of the scope and uh, whether or not uh, you're observing at a rural, suburban, or urban site. And make sure you save all this information as well. Other catalogs. In addition to the default full catalog, some other catalogs are available. There's a Messier Marathon catalog, the WDS, the Washington Double Stars catalog. The GCVS catalog contains a general catalog of variable stars, 38,000 plus entries. These catalogs are found on the homepage for RTGUI. But what about scripting? Scripting really gives us the capability to accept command line parameters, allowing RTGUI to be controlled by other software instead of just by the GUI interface. It makes it possible to have RTGUI perform completely automated tasks, such as positioning your telescope on Saturn at 3 a.m. and moving to Venus at 4 a.m. You can even write elaborate scripts in Visual Basic, Java, Delphi, or some other scripting language to position the telescope for imaging, sky surveys, or other repetitive tasks. The main things I like about RTGUR are its small size and ease of use. The scripting is fantastic for unattended imaging runs, and it's, the price is definitely right.